Okay, we're going to demonstrate the concept of eddy currents. What I have here are two identical slugs in terms of size and weight, except one is a magnet and one is not. So this iron nail will not be attracted to this non-magnetic slug, but it will be picked up by the magnetic slug here. This pipe is aluminum, and aluminum is paramagnetic, so it has very weakly magnetizes, so it will not pick up one of these, pick up this magnetic slug. So what we're going to do is drop these two slugs through. We'll see the non-magnetic one falls rapidly, whereas the magnetic one falls slowly because of the eddy currents that are going to be induced in the aluminum as the magnet falls and the resulting magnetic field from the eddy currents opposing the uh, magnetic slug as it tries to fall through the pipe. Okay, I'm first going to drop the non-magnetic slug through the pipe. And we see how rapidly it falls. Now let's take the magnetic slug. And you can actually see it through these holes here as it slowly falls through. So what is happening is, as this magnetic slug falls, in front of it in the aluminum is a changing magnetic field. Okay, and that is going to set up currents, that changing magnetic field is going to induce currents flowing in the aluminum, which we call eddy currents. And associated with those eddy currents is a magnetic field that is opposing the changing magnetic field due to the slug falling. And so the, the magnetic field from those eddy currents is going to push back on this magnetic slug, and that's why it falls slowly through this pipe aluminum pipe compared to the non-magnetic slug that falls through rapidly.